Hey, what's up? What's going on? APS cheating scandal. Um, for those who don't know, outside Atlanta area, recently it's been a big controversy related to the uh, Atlanta public school systems. Uh, controversial cheating scandal related to the state graduation. Oh, so not the state graduation test. The, um, the CCRT. This is a test elementary schools take, and basically, it's a lot of pressure with it. Apparently, it's pressure with um, getting students to qualify or to make testing standards so schools can get more money or whatever. Sometimes, but anyway. It's been found out um, through investigation that several teachers in the Atlanta public school system have been found or has been suspected or something to that effect um, involved negatively uh, relating to helping folks cheat or something. And uh, anyway, came to the conclusion that uh, you know the board or the school system gave ultimatums to the teachers involved. It's like, hey, either you quit. And have your um, either yeah, basically order to either resign, and um, we I guess they suspend your license or whatever for a couple of years or something like that, or for a certain amount of time, or not quit and face um, some type of hearing, basically, which could lead up to being all out fired and even worse punishment. Some I think so far within the last week, they said five it took and um. The resignation and others are kind of backing out on it. They feel like they're being shortchanged or something. And um, it's an interesting issue because I'm hearing not necessarily mixed messages, but situation mainly from uh, black media outlets or not black media, but certain people that bring up the story on the radio or whatever outlets. They're saying that. Uh, they have more sympathy for the teachers. They feel like the teachers were being set up because of cheating scandal. And you know, I'm I'm saying like this is the conclusion I came about. Not and this is how I'm looking at it. If you have a situation where basically uh, there's evidence against you, obviously, and you got a situation where basically you get to pretty much choose the lesser of the two evils, uh, that should be a no-brainer situation. You know, and um, I think it's, I think uh, when I hear people try to sympathize with people like that, uh, I see a lack of accountability from that. And actually, uh, I mean, it's a lack of accountability from the Atlanta school system because it's like at the beginning of that investigation, which was only a few months ago, actually, uh, um, the superintendent, she quit. The uh, I think the second head of the superintendent, one of her assistants, was up was supposed to be the incoming superintendent for a Dallas metro area school system, but the school board had backed out of that once they found out that she's part of the investigation. So they end up picking somebody else. So that tells you how sensitive the situation is. So um, as far as I'm concerned, the Nana school board or you know, the Atlanta school board which is controversial in their own right as well as the city council but that's that's a whole nother issue right there is actually trying really to uh, clean up the situation and what I don't seem to understand maybe maybe it's just not me understanding that like I, said, I don't know they didn't really publish the teachers names or anything like that on the news or anything which is a good thing because you don't want to single anybody out but I mean if it's already known that you pretty much are guilty of the situation why are you trying to slap them on the wrist now I'm talking about the meet certain people that's trying to sympathize with the teachers I mean give you gotta give a better reason to see how they're in charge saying because if you got caught in a situation especially an investigation you especially if you know what the rules are and what the consequences might come about that's <laughs> that's a serious issue and if you're given a, a, a basing what I call lesser of two evils would basically be volunteer to resign and have your license suspended for a short amount of time or that's better than having them being banned forever or whatever the case may be
but I'm not saying it's a good thing or not. I mean, the situation overall was bad. As um, far as I'm concerned, Atlanta public school system is trying to do their best to cleanse the situation and trying to reverse that negative into a positive. They got enough controversial issues already. And I also want to blame the community. Yes, I'm blaming you, the community. We, the community, however you want to call it, because I think some is, and not trying to single out black people or single out a certain race, because I don't know other, other places, but it seems to be the conclusion around this part where uh, race becomes a serious factor, especially when it comes to like um, the most important things like money or funding or everyday livelihood. And uh, basically like this in any community, a successful community is the people that are the most involved in it. The more people involved in their community, the more effective that community is going to be. Unfortunately, um, with the Atlanta public school system, it sounds like to me that community is not as much as involved as it should be. So you might have a kid that uh, lives in a certain neighborhood. The parents don't probably want to send that kid to the neighborhood school because they feel like it's not sufficient enough. So they send the kid to an area where really they don't have no business being in. Or they go through crazy lips and send them to another school district where they shouldn't be there anyway because they're not eligible for it, but they find a way to get them to another school district so they can get a so-called better education instead of having to try to be more involved in the kids education by going to their school and making sure that not only the teachers and the administration and whatever staff are just as accountable and stuff but less here and there um scandal scandals over with you know, time to look forward. APS is going to do their thing regardless. And those teachers, uh, they're holding out. They, well, they have their right to feel, but at least they got a choice. Some people, they don't get a choice at all. They just get fired. So uh, they're doing the best they can. Um, really don't know. I mean, it's a bad situation overall. So if I was in, I'll take the lesser two evils. But I'm not guilty of anything. I'm not involved in it. It's just the way I'm looking at it. It's, it's just a big mess. And you got a situation where here's the result. This is what we're going to do. And all the, conclusion, all the conclusion you come up with is that, well, the teachers are being shortchanged. The teachers are not being shortchanged. If you've already been found guilty and involved and stuff, and you haven't been fired on the spot for that or whatever, I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's some other complications that I haven't, you know, came had add to the situation. But... Uh, I'm not saying it's not an easy decision or for them either, so it's going to be an interesting case, but um, I look at it as a plus, they're trying to move forward, they're trying to get rid of people involved, but you, you know, it's a sad situation overall, it's pretty sad, so hopefully things get better, and community you need to be more involved in your children's school, if you got kids going to school especially, because you can't expect a teacher to raise your kid when you're not around. You can't expect a teacher to make your kid smart. You can't expect the principal to discipline your kid or whatnot. Or to have the higher test scores and stuff like that. It involves everybody. Alright.